it was on a school ground and I got beat up by a girl. And when that happened, uh, my dad, you know, had serious, serious problems with that. And, uh, you know, I was just a five-year-old kid. And uh, the girl was much bigger than me, I'll give her credit for that. But uh, they, uh, my dad took me out of school and took me immediately to my uncle who was training the army team in Fort Bliss and said, teach this kid how to throw. And that's where it just took off after that. And I mean, I, it was just such a humiliating experience for me. And then, you know, that and then going to the boxing gym, it was like instead of daycare, I was going to the boxing gym every day. Honestly, I just fell in love with it more than any other sport. I played baseball, football, basketball, everything, and I excelled at all of them. But boxing, here's the thing about boxing is the gym always welcomed me with open arms. I was in trouble a lot as an adolescent, as a kid. Um, you know, um, getting in trouble with, you know, the law, police all the time. And it was actually a police officer that saw my talent as a kid and made me a deal. He says, listen, I'm sick of picking you up for calls. He goes, how about I pick you up after, if, if I promise to take you to the gym every day, which he did every day after school, he picked me up every day. He goes, will you stay out of trouble? And I said, yes, I will. His name is Joe Sullivan. Picked me up every day after school in a cop car and took me to the boxing gym every day just to keep me out of trouble. And I owe him everything. And um, basically the trainers that were at the gym that always welcomed me no matter what was going on in my personal life. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I still messed up a lot. You know, I just did. But um, boxing was like my sanctuary. I, it was just, I was at peace there, more so than any other place. I, you know, I just didn't like the football coaches. I didn't like the basketball coaches. Something about the boxing coaches, you know, they teach you how to relax in the ring, how to stay relaxed under the most adverse conditions. And I learned to enjoy, I found peace in the gym. You know, it was my own special thing. You know, in all the gyms back then, I don't know how it is now, but back then when I was growing up in El Paso, Texas, the gyms were always in the ghetto. I was training in, with, all the, with all the little cholillos and, and everyone growing up, man, that's where I trained with. And uh, I was like the only heavyweight in the gym, <laughs> you know, unless you're like 5'10", 300 something pounds. But, um, you know, it was, it, was, uh, it was very special to me, more so than any other sport, because every other sport was a team sport. Boxing wasn't. And I felt a challenge in that spiritually, you know. Um, I'm a big believer in God, and I, and I believe that if whatever mistakes I'm going to make, I'm not going to lose it for the team. I'm just going to lose it for myself, or I'm going to win it for myself. I've made a big impact in my hometown. Um, I've uh, influenced a lot of kids. I, I teach kids as much as I can when I'm in the gym. You know, a lot of, especially in my hometown, I'm very well known out there. Uh, I have big fights out there, and, and, and I, I help out with the community. I, anytime a kid needs help or anything, I'm always there unless I have to come to Vegas or anything like that. But um, I'm big about helping, giving back to the community because people took their time out to help me. And I always feel like that's the best thing to do is always give back because you got to pay it forward. I've learned how to throw a really devastating left hook since I was a kid. That was like the one punch I had. I didn't even know, the first punch I, I learned how to throw was a hook. I didn't know how to throw a jab. I didn't really know how to throw a right hand. I learned how to throw a hook. And I just kept using that so often. And then I started learning the combinations, ba 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 boom, and then with that hook, ba 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 boom, and then with that left hook. That's what I catch everyone with. Then I started learning how to transfer it to the body. Then I realized I had some power in my right hand too. I, I, I had a trainer that took me, took me away and, and for a whole year, he didn't let me use my left. He was constantly, and this is about when I was 16, 17, he just had me use my right hand. So I learned to develop power with both hands. And I just got real explosive with my punches. I like to throw, Six, seven punch combinations. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I keep that type of rhythm because if all else, all else fails, I know just to keep throwing. You know, man, for me, I got a lot of energy. I got a, a bundle of energy, you know, and boxing is my outlet. So when I'm in here and I'm just hitting the bag, it takes me somewhere else. You know, it takes me away from my personal problems, the things that I have going on um, that I don't like to think, that I have no nothing but time to think about when I'm not in here. So when I come in here, it's an outlet, it's a release. And when I'm sparring, fighting, it's really bad for the other guy, man, because I'm taking all those life frustrations out on that dude. Like, he's not just fighting a fighter. I'm, he's taking out, he's fighting my issues.